All right, so I want to do a little walkthrough of Jake's uh, Tacoma just to show you how it's set up and uh, and let you know if you're in the Nevada, Northern Arizona, Utah area, this is a great rig. And Jake will actually, I mean, he charges for it, but say you wanted to start out in Utah and end up in Arizona, Jake will work with you so that you can you can drop this thing off on the tail end of your trip pick it up at the front end of your trip or maybe you want to start in california and come across uh death valley or something you can do that you just have to coordinate that with him and all of the details are listed in his in his listing on outdoorsy i just want to show you i really think his setup is great it's extremely simple and i admire that because mine is exactly the opposite and i think i'm learning something from him and when i got this thing yesterday it was spotless i had some firewood in here and I've been driving on some dusty roads, but this thing is, I mean, it's weather, weather tight. It's nothing is getting in here. So, I mean, uh, the weather stripping is great. This locks, this is very sturdy. No dust from the road got in here. All it got in here was stuff that I put in here. So, and part of outdoorsy, you pay a cleaning fee that's built into the listing. So, I mean, obviously you don't want to trash somebody's vehicle, but the, when you get a little bit of dirt and stuff in there, that's that's just going to happen when you're using it. And frankly, this thing was clean as it could be when I picked it up on the outside too. And, uh, you know, now it's got some road dust on it, but it doesn't look bad. Okay, so it's got this Dometic fridge. And he's got the eight gallon weekender by waterport i've got that same thing his is actually a newer model all of this is brass mine is partially resin or poly and i think this is a better design so he's got that pressurized water eight gallons you can bring more water for drinking uh, i had some drinking water i did use this water to make my coffee this morning but i boiled it so you know I, i'm sure the water was safe anyway but you know use this for washing up bring some drinking water then he's got this drawer system by Decked, just one big drawer, and I think he's got everything you need for your camping trip. So check it out. So got a, a table, got some chairs back there. He's got a stand uh, legs for his awning. There's the awning right there. I didn't even have to get it out. He's got a can of propane. He's got a wash tub, front runner utensils, a Coleman gas burner, double burner. And in here, he's got just the basics, just enough. Let me show you. So he's got, you know, bowls, cups, pots and pans, some uh, plates and a couple other. Oh, this is a, a drip coffee set up so you can make coffee. I had a little pump up espresso maker, so I was good. He's got a, a, a shade wall for the awning. If you want to use that, give you a little protection from the wind. He's got a little shovel for taking care of business, whatever business that might be. Even gave me a trash bag. I think it's great. I think it's a good setup. Very simple. Everything you need for a quick little getaway or for a week-long trip. And frankly, uh, the only thing I brought with me was my travel bry by Osbry. I didn't bring any knives. I wasn't going on a plane after all. Uh, I brought my travel bry by Osbry, and I cooked two steaks in it last night. That's it. And then I used his one of his pans to make some sausage this morning. Side latches too. Um, he's got this ladder for the rooftop tent. I'm not going to open up the rooftop tent there. You know, if you haven't seen what the rooftop clamshell tent looks like, then, you know, there's plenty of videos for that. And this is how he powers the thing. I think it's very simple, very smart. So he's got this Jackery that at this point is 50, 53% charged. So the fridge is running off of it and he's got the input plugged into the 120 volt socket in the back. And so obviously he can take this thing out and charge it in his home before a trip. But one of the neat features of the Tacoma, and I mean, frankly, a lot of vehicles anymore, but Form Runner has as well, is there is a 120 volt outlet plug in the back. So what he recommends is while you're driving, turn that thing on and the Jackery is being charged the whole time you're driving. I mean, in essence, He's got a dual battery system that was built into the vehicle and it suits his needs perfectly. So uh, obviously uh, Jackery's also allow solar input and things like that. So if you're camped up for a few days, you can plug a solar panel into them and you could you can uh, charge off of that. So again, very simple setup, very clean, all high quality. He's got this nature nest rooftop tent, just a clamshell tent that folds open. It's got a rain fly. But in northern Arizona, Nevada, you don't need the rain fly. Not most times. Um, 
I was camped here up at Windy Point, and I will say it's the first time I've ever stayed in a rooftop tent. I actually owned a rooftop tent one time, but I realized it was going to just completely cover up the space on my Land Cruiser at the time, the roof space of my Land Cruiser. So I wanted to do something different because I like to carry stuff on the roof. But first time I ever slept in a rooftop tent, here's my take on it. That tent is extremely comfortable. It's easy to set up. It's easy to take down. Just pops open. And when you get ready to close it up, you just fold in the sides, close it up, and latch it. Those two latches. That's it. That's the whole thing. But I will say it was so windy last night at this place. I mean, I'm talking about huge gusts that shook the whole truck. I felt like having the rooftop tent up was like having a sail up. So I did, after giving it a try for a couple hours, I did get out of the tent, close it up, and I slept in the driver's seat of the truck. That's not a knock on this tent. This tent is fine. It was comfortable. It was just so windy at this place. And I took the reviews by people that said it was going to be like that. I didn't fully believe how windy it was going to be. I've camped right on the beach. I've camped in other places that were windy. Nothing compares to this place. But the beauty of the site makes up for any negatives that I had. 